Greetings racers, uh, welcome to the Project Cars 2 Invitational Events. Uh, today we're looking to Truck Special and the Truck Special is GTO Masters. Uh, those are the GTR cars and I will be driving the Lamborghini Diablo GTR. Uh, one thing to notice here, there is, uh, as far as I know, there's a mistake here. So it says uh, transmission six-speed sequential and as far as I know, that Lamborghini Diablo GTR car, which uh, which was a GT1 car, uh, had a five-speed manual clutch-operated gearbox. So H-stick, not a sequential, not six-speed, but five-speed. So I think this is a mistake here, and I'll be driving with H-stick. One way to confirm that is to Okay, let's have a quick look here. 15 laps, formation lap on, car is picked up, let's start. I had to reduce the difficulty when I was driving Ferrari F355 Challenge at Mugello. I had a difficulty at 100. I couldn't, I was like seven seconds off the AI time on 100. I had to reduce it significantly to have any chance of racing uh, AI. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing. Second thing is that sequential gearbox. I think that's uh, wrong information. Uh, that car is uh, has a clutch operated five gear uh, transmission. And one of the things to confirm that is to check in here, but let's load. I was trying uh, a different setups here. I was trying stable and loose, and I'll try, I would go with loose at the moment. Stable is very, very uh, understeer. It's really hard to make that car to turn. We'll see if the loose setup will be any better. Uh, hard tires, oh, let's confirm that. Yeah, that's our hard slick. Uh, brake pressure, brake balance, that's all looking good. I'm just checking a few settings here I have, yeah. Downforce, it is at nine. I want it there. Um, oh, that just that, that changed it. Um, I want to rise that uh, pressure a little bit for all four. Okay. Hard, 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 hard. Uh, suspension, no changes here. It's really no force doing anything for one single race. Fuel for the whole race, 15 laps. Um, engine brake, uh, no radiator opening, 75%. Uh, that should be more or less good, uh, 29 degrees ambient, yeah, I'm going to keep it as it is. Uh, everything looks fine here, uh, oh, actually, the dax opening, that's, uh, let's close it a little bit more. Okay, let's save that. Uh, over existing, that's fine. And the one thing I was supposed to check was the gearbox, right? So the reason I think they're wrong, and I checked it online as well, is if we look here, we can see only five gears. Even though it says uh, six gear sequential, this is five gear plus uh, rever of reverse, of course. But it's a five gear manually operated, uh, clutch operated uh, transmission. So we, we know all that, everything's ready. Uh, let's try it, let's start. So formation lap, the usual stuff, a one lap, trying to form a purse at the end of it. I want to touch anyone, this is a uh, penalty straight away if we, if we cause any touch, and even if our, we are touched by, uh, by any of the AI cars, it's probably a penalty for me. The system is not perfect, unfortunately. So, P19 uh, at the back of the grid. I think there are 24 cars here, so we are really, really at the back. Uh, I had no influence on that. It's, uh, it's a single event without qualification. And uh, 15 laps. So 15 laps to get from P19 to, to P1. Uh, I'm not sure that's even possible. So hard tires for that whole race. Uh, I tried soft, but it's a bit too warm for soft. They were melting after a few laps. 
and uh, whoa, that's some oscillation there. Fire temps are still reasonably good. I think they are started forming the the purse because they all accelerated, that's what AI does usually. Here we go, we need to catch up with them. Oh, they are quite slow here. I better be careful. That's the problem with AI, they're very unpredictable on that uh, formation lab. Not like that, they almost stopped here. Lamborghini brake just before the start of the club. Very tight corner, this first one. I didn't want to hit anyone. I don't think I had anyone next to me. Oh, there was, uh, there was a Mustang there. That was a really good start. 10 positions, that was crazy. Okay, so we are P9. Heavy braking there. It's worth remembering that AI is a bit slower on the first lap. They will accelerate on the consequent flaps. Do I have enough exit speed? No, I don't think so. Or maybe. On a gear change. <laughs> Let's try to reduce the drag. It's first lap. I want to be careful, don't want to break too late. There's a Mustang there trying to overtake me, going too wide in those corners. Luckily, I had it inside, so I can. Hand him off. Now oh, this very long right hander. Lap 1, P9, suddenly it looks promising, maybe I'll be able to overtake the rest of them. They should pick up the pace now, because it's lap 2, as I said. Lap 1 is always a bit slower for AI. Ah, oh, those curves are very dangerous here. They can destabilize the car. And I got hit, even though I was well, well on his side. He ignored my presence there, dropped into me.
But I have to say that Porsche is not a formidable opponent here. I think Porsche and Lambo are the worst out of these cars, from what I saw based on the AI times. Uh, Nissan, one of those two that are available here, seems to be the, the best one. the loose setup I have still quite a lot of uh, understeer in this car. I didn't have enough uh, overlap there to even attempt outbreaking him. Bobber is still there on the acceleration and V12, I think it's 6 liter engine. Those curbs, I want to be one has to be very careful on those curbs here. Oh, going to be oh he didn't bump into me, that's nice. That's your best first section so far, great job! wide, I have to make sure to leave him enough space. It's lap 3, P7, not too bad. That start helped immensely, jumping from P19 to P9. I was very lucky there. That's the Nissan here. I tried to adjust that gearbox, but there is not really much one can do with this gear, and unfortunately, I have to. Upshift to the third gear just for a moment there, just to downshift straight away to the to the second. So it's a lot of uh, jumping between gears and those uh, tight corners there. Good uh, higher temperatures on all four wheels, just below 90 degrees. that happening but I was lucky on the braking there I guess wow that is is quick it's catching up he will overtake me easily here good 
good. I have the inside here, so I can keep that position. Audi's next. Drop a little bit on this curb and uh, the car started sliding straight away. One has to be very careful with these curves. I wasn't braking strong enough there, but I was at the verge of locking the wheels as well, so I have to avoid the contact. Fighting quite a lot with the car on the exits of the slider corners. A lot of contradictions with the car. So in those faster corners, it's very there's a lot of uh, understeer. On those tight corners, when you know there is abundance of power from the V12 engine, there is a lot of oversteer. That AI driver gave up so quickly. They had 70% uh, aggressiveness, so quite a lot. At 70%, they bumping into me like crazy. This time, it is this one. Gave I run quickly. Four more cars to overtake. Four more opponents with uh, nine laps to go. Me a bit more than two laps per car, not too bad, but at first I need to catch up with them.
seems like they're very busy fighting with each other here. Whoa, I slowed down too much. I was so focused on them. They lost focus on, uh, on my driving. So now it's actually nine laps to go. Ferraris at 40s. They're much, much faster on straights than the Lamborghini. If the data within the game is correct, I haven't confirmed that checking the spec of the scores online but it's something like 338 versus 370 something they're driving away on straight wow There's nothing I can do about it even driving behind them, I don't, I have, I don't have enough uh, slipstream. My only chance is them fighting with each other. That should slow them down a little bit. Now when I uh, caught up with them, I have to find a... I don't believe that. No, yeah, that couldn't work. I was on the outside. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The touch was uh, so light that it didn't cause any damage, so nothing to worry about. Wasn't pretty, but... Yeah, I'm wasting too much time now. They're fighting again, which is good. That slows them down, allows me to catch up again with them. Whoa, they slowed down like crazy, I didn't expect that at all. Try to avoid them on the left hand side. That unfortunately caused damage. 4% imprecise, so there's some aero damage definitely on the front of the car. Ferrari which is behind will overtake me here. I want him to go to the outside of the next corner. And yes, positioning on the truck is important in a situation like that.
I think they have much better acceleration as well out of the corners. Uh, I'm checking tire temp, that's pretty good, just below 100 degrees and on four. I think up to 110 we are really good. Brake temperature is good as well. All four brakes stay in a good braking temperature um, bracket, so everything's optimal at the moment when it comes to the car. Oil temperature 98, water temperature 91. I had to release accelerator, accelerator a little bit there just not to hit him again. It was that uh, understeer I was talking about. He was able to negotiate the corner quicker than me while I was actually really being driven really, really to the outside, going really wide there. Six more laps, I have to start overtaking. I have to get a bit more aggressive. That Nissan came to the Q1, and I think it is the fastest car of the three. I won't give up that position now. Cannot. Good driving. That's third place. Brilliant first sector. That's your best so far. I'm not sure how that's possible if it was showing uh, negative delta. Two more cars to overtake. It's not easy. They're fighting again, that's good. We can see how this is slowing them down significantly. That Ferrari is really slow in the exit here. I may try to jump here on the inside. Yeah, that worked. Well done, that second place, time to catch up with the leader. It's just the Nissan now. will be really quick on the exit here. the wheels here quite a lot. That Ferrari coming on the inside scares me a little bit there. Didn't want to be overtaken. This looks like a faster sector one time, but definitely not the one on the previous lap. Okay, I'm very close behind him. I have some slipstream, but he's just quicker car. Nothing I can do about it. That 
Ferrari was coming there again. I didn't have a chance being on the outside. Bouncing to me again, but I'll be taking advantage of that. You're in the first place. Great job. Keep pushing. I was there on the inside. I had a full right in the corner. I have very little advantage here. They're right behind and they are the fastest car. I will be defending that inside. You've got one on your tail. Better defend that position. I hate when that uh, timer for the console switch off pops up. For some reason, the console doesn't register uh, a wheel movement, pedals, and the gearbox as an input, so I have to then use one of the other buttons to do that. Stop breaking there. Even if my mess up breaking and being all the way to the side is still bumping to me. I have to slow down more just because I have to take that corner so much tighter being on the inside.
two more laps to go after this one. 14 and 15. The fastest laps was uh, 2 minutes 15 seconds and 0.7. That Nissan is still there all the time, constantly. Final lap now. Okay, final lap, final lap. The car behind you is still pushing hard. Don't let it get a run on you. I think I have just enough advantage, 1.2 seconds, to not to be worried about him outbreaking me. left final corner that was a nice race That was a really good race, but that uh, really good start helped me immensely. I wouldn't be able to do it probably if I didn't gain, if I didn't gain so many positions at the start of the race.
that was I was very lucky there um, from P19 to P9 and then I was just uh, slowly and steadily climbing up to the P1 I think I got P1 on uh, 13th lap or 12th though I only had to drive a few laps defending from the Nissan who really was the quickest car there and that's what I said that's what I saw from my eye during uh, my initial preparation that this Nissan's uh, were the fastest followed by Ferraris and then uh, Mustangs I think um, or maybe Mustangs were a bit faster than Ferrari I don't remember the Lambos were actually quite slow in the hands of AI in the proverbial hands of the AI I should have said um, but I just like the way the Lambo looks I had to drive the Lambo I was uh, I prefer to reduce the difficulty just so I can drive the Lambo. Uh, I could have taken the Nissan and I probably would have much easier time. But um, I still have plenty of fun battling this uh, last few cars on those last laps, specifically then defending against the Nissan, uh, which was, you know, right there. Luckily, it wasn't close enough to. To attack properly on any of this uh, huge braking zones, but uh, it was it was there. And those moments where I was behind the Nissan and this, uh, one of those Ferraris was trying to jump there it was also very cool. Here we go, that's the end of the race. GTO Masters. Um, by half a second, that's not a big one. Best lap that Nissan was quicker than me. Uh, just having a quick look at the scars, we can see that we don't see another Mustang, uh, sorry, another, um, another Lamborghini there. So let's compare my Lamborghini time to other Lamborghinis um, I just need the other I just need the controller because I cannot scroll down using the wheel oh I cannot scroll down here as well that's not helpful oh no I can okay cool so I can here as well why I couldn't earlier so the first AI Lamborghini is wow 18 217 that's uh, two seconds slower and yeah the Lamborghinis are, were, are the worst car of that group, unfortunately, but of course. Good, so continue if I can. Yeah. And that's uh, the points uh, do not matter just because uh, it's not a championship, it's a single event. And, uh, and I won it. So that will be all for today. That was pretty, pretty intense, good racing, really enjoy it. And I hope you will enjoy your Project Cars 2 sessions. I want to all thank you for watching and have a great day. See you next time.